Okay, so in example four, what we're doing is we are changing the temperature. Example one and two, we changed concentration. Now we're changing temperature. Okay. In order to know what's going to happen to the temperature, we need to know if the reaction is exo or endothermic. Okay. So if I look at this equation, I have energy on the left side, which means energy is being absorbed, which means the reaction is endothermic. Okay. Now, let's just think logically. I'm increasing the temperature of the overall system. The system is getting hotter. Okay, I'm adding temperature to it. I'm heating it up. Is the system going to want to heat up even more? Or is it going to say, no, if you're heating me up, I'm going to cool down. It's going to cool down. So if the system is, if we're heating it up, system's going to want to cool down. Okay, so we know that. So we know that the system wants to cool down. Okay? If the system wants to cool down, is it going to want to release more energy or is it going to want to absorb more energy? Well, let's think. If it releases more energy, it's going to get hotter. If it absorbs that energy, it's not going to get hotter. It's actually going to cool down. So, if the system wants to cool down, is it going to shift to the left where it releases heat? Or is it going to want to shift to the right where it actually absorbs heat? It's going to shift to the right. Okay. Because we're going to, if I'm heating it up, I'm adding more energy. Systems like, all right, you give me more energy. I'm going to use it up. Okay. So it's going to shift to the right. So what that means, guys, is if I just look at the left and right side, if I'm, if my reaction is shifting to the right, I'm going to be using up less, or I'm going to be reacting more of this. So this is going to go down and I'm going to be producing more of this, which means this is going to go up. So N204 is going to go down and NO2 is going to go 